Hello guys, Vince Vlog is here and now let's talk about oil pressure sensor and switches. Now, what is a oil pressure sensor? What is the difference between the switches? Now, I have here the example. This is the video. This is a oil pressure sensor and switch so this is a uh, dual functions and uh, they have uh, a sensor and a switch which is sensor is uh, uh, written here is G and uh, W or W key is the switch now sensor is the one who give uh, reading going back to your module so meaning is the one read how much the pressure inside of your uh, engine this is what we call what we are talking about the oil pressure uh, inside of your engine now the switch is uh, different because the switch is in terms of switch they are only one path so meaning once it is closed it will direct give you the negative signal going to your uh, module so meaning once you are connected this one or attached into the body because uh, engine body is already given a uh, negative the negative is connected there it is connected from your battery so meaning if you once you are installed this one so meaning it is attached already to your engine body so meaning there is already a negative supply once the switch is closed so it will give directly negative signal to your module so meaning it will give you a warning alarm or a shutdown it depends on your uh, configurations now <clears throat> let's go back to the pressure so meaning it's inside of this one i will show you the picture that one and the functions uh, later so you will understand more as what i'm talking about so it's inside there is a pressure gauge this one that uh, that's why there is a hole this one that's uh, so where the few the oil can go inside and it depends on how uh, what pressure of your engine circulating inside so it will push the rod that can measure how many pressure you're generating engine in your uh, engine I mean okay so <clears throat> Now, since this uh, sensor is uh, uh, what we call resistive, so meaning it just give you uh, the ohms value to your module, which the module will give you the value that corresponds on how much the ohms they give to the module and it will uh, correspond to your uh, value of your bar because this is video this is value of uh, 0 to 10 bar you get it so that is the difference between the switch and the sensor oh i say it again switch is a single path that gives you the negative signal to your uh, module and then the sensor is give you the reading that gives you I mean give you the reading that uh, how many bar or how what pressure inside of your engine which is uh, converted into ohms and ohms will give you uh, 
the ohms will give in signal to the module and the module will the one understand which amount of value of the ohms should corresponds to how many uh, how uh, what uh, bar is the value for that kind of ohms okay you get uh, my uh, explanations so that's it that is the different uh, uh, between the sensor and the switches so Hello guys, I'm here in the 20 kVA uh, generator, so I can show you the the generators which is we installed the uh, sensors for uh, the OL and so I can explain it to you why we encounter sometimes like the OL levels sensor low OL pressure low switch so first things you have to know that uh, to avoid uh, any alarms or any shutdown of your generator make it sure that the maintenance of your engine is always incorrect always uh, second I mean second make it sure that your uh, oil level is correct okay and then number three make it sure always that uh, the connections of your sensor is always in uh, proper connections there is no loss connections because it will appear and it will cause you some alarms okay the fourth is uh, make it sure the viscosity of your oil always make it sure that uh, it's light and this is not uh, like black color make it sure that the viscosity even if you feel it you just touch it into your hands you will feel it uh, the viscosity of your oil if it is uh, you need to change or still in a good conditions now <clears throat> one more is uh, if uh, the sensor is fail uh, due to the lack of uh, maintenance so meaning you are already exit to your uh, maintenance date because for example if your engine is uh, new so you have to change oil that one uh, in uh, 250 running hours that is the standard uh, I mean to maintain your uh, uh, engine in a good conditions that is uh, uh, the standard procedure of uh, maintaining 
the oil of your engine so you understand guys just if you have some questions just do the comment and the comment uh, if you have some questions you do the comment there in the our channel so we can uh, talk about it and that's it so I will go back there okay guys so always put in your mind that uh, the oil pressure sensors if in the standby mode your engine is in the stop mode it is normally closed once the generator is run so there is the build up of your uh, uh, oil pressure inside of your engine so it will open That's it for today guys and I hope you understand and don't forget to like and subscribe and so the persons who are not yet subscribed of course please subscribe so you will also know what is the latest and what is the good information that we shared to you so thank you for watching see you again in my next vlog.